represent. represent. I'm not only a client, I'm the player president. Yeah. What up, YouTube? What's going down? Hope everyone is having a good weekend. It is a beautiful day in the Valley of the Sun. Man, our winter goes by so short over here. Hold on, let me get my seatbelt on here. It's crazy how quick our winter goes by. And then the next thing you know, we're in March and then it's already 85 degrees, 90 degrees, but can't complain, man. Hey, so I just uh, was uh, checking the news feeds. There's a bunch of things that I wanted to talk about in the last week. As you guys know, that I just got back from being suspended. So um, I really wanted to, uh, last week I was going to do another update about Bitcoin um, which I'm going to be talking about because the Chinese government is kind of waging war. Well, they are waging war on Bitcoin since Bitcoin seems to be the most popular uh, cryptocurrency. Um, but what uh, what a lot of the governments and, and um, like China, for example, I mean, even uh, the United States, we have our own digital currency, crypto, actually what the Federal Reserve calls FedCoin. A lot of people don't really know that. Uh, Japan has got theirs ready to roll out. The UK, I think just about every country now has got theirs ready to roll out. Damn, there's so much traffic today. Thank you. So long story short, right? It's like one of those things where you realize the changes. But what's happening with China is, see, they can't, tra obviously Bitcoin is anonymous, right? So that it can't be tracked. I mean, it can be tracked, but in other words, it you know, gives you the uh, the privacy to, uh, you know, spend your money. Um, and uh, there's a lot of freedom in that, obviously. So there's, there's a point that comes in time where, you know, or there will be a point in time where we're all going to have digital wallets. So some people don't understand the difference between a digital currency and a cryptocurrency. So the best way to break it down is, a digital currency just means that it's it's digital money in a digital wallet. So it's it's like uh, basically what they'd be replacing with fiat currency, your paper money. It would just be a digital wallet, right? It doesn't necessarily define it as crypto. Crypto uh, that is is its own thing, um, you know, through blockchain. There's you know it, it seems confusing for people, but this is what everyone needs to remember and realize is that we are headed towards a dystopian <laughs> utopian future call it whatever you want they they want to they want to change everything and um the big push uh coming from the IMF uh the ECB the Federal Reserve uh you got Janet Yellen who was with the Federal Reserve as I've talked about before now she's like I said she is the secretary of the treasury of the United States they're all calling for regulations on Bitcoin. Um, they don't seem to like it. And the main reason is, is because it's Bitcoin is not part of a, a central banking system that controls um, currency, fiat currency, and that has intrinsic value based on the value that the powers that be put into it. So um, the uh, these... Uh, Digital, you know, um, these central digital bank uh, currencies, they're, you know, uh, at the point now where they're, they're really ready to roll out everything worldwide. But it seems like uh, from some statistics that I checked, I believe like 60 or 65 percent of Bitcoin that's being mined actually is being mined in China. 65 percent. And you're talking about like terawatts of power, like a lot of energy and electricity that's consumed from mining Bitcoin. So China's kind of playing this card where they're trying to act like, uh, yeah, you know, we're doing this for the planet. We want to protect the planet and the environment and conserve <laughs> energy. And that's the reason why we want to, you know, stop this whole rollout of uh, Bitcoin or our, our citizens using Bitcoin um, but you can see that, uh, and even the banks are, are ready to go, uh, Visa, MasterCard, um, I mean, all the, you know, between all the big corporations and they're, they're all on board with it. They're just probably waiting for the right time to roll it out. So basically along with that lunatic, uh, Klaus Schwab 
from the World Economic Forum, one of the other big think tanks in the world that, uh, you know, uh, said, you remember the guy who said, you'll, you'll, by the year 2030, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy? Yeah, well, like I said, if you don't own it, somebody owns it. I'm sure Klaus Schwab is not talking about himself. I'm sure he's going to have his fair share of ownership. He's already a billionaire. So these people got big plans for us. Something very interesting. I'll uh, go ahead and post a, uh, an article. Also, one of the um, channels that I would recommend that everyone take a look at is uh, China Uncensored. Uh, a guy named uh, Chris Chappell, who's been running that channel for, I don't know, more than a few years now. I've been following them for a few years. But they're, they're, they're probably one of the more reliable sources for getting information out of China. And so I would definitely recommend everyone take a look. I'll go ahead and I'll post a, a link in the description. You guys can check it out. But um, other than that, you know, it's a, a beautiful day out here. I hope it's a beautiful day where you are, even if it's not. You know, hey, it's the freaking weekend. Make the best of your day. And um, appreciate y'all tuning in. And uh, lots more to talk about. There's, Like I said, I'm a week behind here on, on issues that I've been wanting to talk about. On my next video, I'll be getting into HR1. Uh, I'm sure some of you have seen the headlines on that. So that's a whole other conversation. But I appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, I'll check y'all later. Have a good one.